welcome to your video by the BRC. We have a Traxxas Slash 4x4. I'm going to show you how to remove the rear knuckle. First thing you'll need to remove your wheel. Sometimes you don't need to remove it because your knuckle is broken. But in this case it's not. I just want to show you guys. Pop our tire off. I'll just put it underneath here to support the vehicle. Now, one of the first thing you might need, it might be broken on the right here where the knuckles being held by the A-arm itself. It could be broken on top of here. Uh, that is, creates your camber. Now, let's say ours is broken here. You'll need to hold this part here and unscrew the top one. Now the rear knuckle itself, you can buy them in aluminum, hardened plastic, or the Traxxas part. Uh, RPM makes a uh, part for it too. I won't dismantle it from here, you don't need to. Now before I go a little bit further, what I need to do, no, I'll do it after. I'll remove the bottom part here. I'll need my 2.5 on the A-arm itself. Now, the rear screw of the A-arm, you'll see one, uh, one part of the screw is uh, smooth and the other part where your thread is. Pop it out and I'm just gonna physically pull on it and you'll have it in one piece in your hand. Like I was saying earlier, you might have broken it here. Sometimes they do crack right here, or even here they crack. Doesn't really matter. Now, grab yourself a flat screwdriver, insert it in between the X and the knuckle itself, and just twist. And you, you'll feel, and you'll sometimes you even hear like a, a kind of a small pop. The X comes off. Don't forget your axle pin. This one's just being stubborn. There's your axle pin. And sometimes what I'm going to do is hold it and just give it a small tap. Now, be careful when you do that. There we go. There's a fiber washer. Traxxas part is a 1985 from her correctly. It creates a small spacer between the bearing and the, uh, the X. Now, half of the time, the other bearing won't stay in the carrier or the knuckle. Uh, it'll come off and stay on the axle. That's okay. What I do, I grab a screwdriver that's a the part of it is smaller than the bearing, but there's another part of it that's bigger than the bearing. This is just a, a pick that I have. Insert it and basically slowly tap it, it'll come off. Gonna remove it, dish this, grab our new bearing sometimes if they're uh, done, pop it back in. The other one's already on the axle. Worst case, if it needs to be changed, we'll toss it, pop a new one in, insert our bearing, put our fiber washer back in, grab our axle pin. I try to put it midway, grab our axle or itself, and turn it until it stops turning and then put pressure like this and half of the time you'll hear it snap and now it's solid turn around just grab the other part of the axle clean it off and sometimes a lot of debris and dirt will go in now these are keyed and i heard a lot of people sometimes they'll put a little bit of grease in here just to keep them from, not keeping them, but making them slide better. 
But remember, if you do do that, dust will attract it. It will become dusty. Now, sorry, there is two holes. You could decide to play with it. Now, on our application here, it's the bottom one. We insert it, grab our pin. Push it back in. Grab our 2.5. Screw this pin back in. Grab our top one. And start. Start to screw a little bit by hand. And like as usual, I try to dismantle less as possible on the vehicle. And you just need to put your wheel back. Make sure she's seated on the X. And tighten her back up. There you go. This is how you change your rear nickel on the Traxxas Slash 4x4. Now, if you have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. I do appreciate it. <laughs> and it does help a lot. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.